We're learning more about the grandmother, Deborah Dennison, and what she was dealing with before this double murder-suicide. Records show that Dennison had a number of financial troubles before last night's Amber Alert. Channel 3's Jill Kanopka did some digging and is live now with what she learned. Jill? Denise, these records indicate thousands of unpaid hospital bills and to the state, and Deborah Dennison's family says she suffered from mental setbacks. Eyewitness News was there when police paid a visit to the home of Deborah Dennison to meet with her husband. Troopers say the 47-year-old grandmother shot and killed two of her grandchildren before taking her own life. A letter left behind and other factors prompted police to issue an Amber Alert, one with the worst possible outcome. Certainly it was a suicide note that was recovered and there was other information that uh, we had determined pursuant to this investigation that really cause us to feel that the children could be in serious danger. Now the family and this close-knit community are also asking why. Relatives tell Eyewitness News Deb suffered from bipolar disorder. Property records indicate she not only owed thousands of dollars in outstanding bills to William Backus Hospital, but another $668 to Connecticut Behavioral Health Associates. And just last month, the state filed a lien on her property for unpaid income taxes, totaling nearly $6,000. One relative believes Deb took her husband's pistol yesterday on her way to pick up her grandkids. State police will only say they're looking into the history of the gun. A lot of questions to answer uh, about the origin of that weapon, uh, the ownership. Um, we want to know everything and anything there is to know about that. Connecticut State Police aren't yet saying whether Deborah Dennison had a gun permit. We did check criminal records. Her record did come up clean, and a while ago, she did pay a $100 fine for reckless driving. Reporting with the Mobile Newsroom tonight in Stonington, Jill Kanopka, Channel 3 Eyewitness News.